So today we're creating the ultimate boot USB drive. This is gonna be a multi-boot system so we can put multiple OS's on it. It also is gonna be capable of doing UEFI and legacy boot, so it'll be compatible with pretty much any system on the market, it doesn't matter what it is. And uh, I think this is a really nice utility just to kinda of have in your back pocket. So with all that said, let's get on the desktop, start formatting our, our USB drive and loading a bunch of different uh, distributions and operating systems on it to create the ultimate all-in-one utility. All right, it's that time to make the ultimate thumb drive. This is gonna be a lot of fun as I'm used to using Yummy, but uh, for Windows users, you just run the executable and it works, but there is no Linux option. However, it does work in Wine, so I'm on a Linux box right now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. If you're a Windows user, just know you won't need to format it, you can just run the executable. If you're a Linux user, you can easily follow along for the first 30 seconds to a minute, and then it'll be formatted and we'll launch into Yummy, and then everything's pretty much the same from that point. But less talking, more installing of a bunch of different Linux distributions and Windows all on one thumb drive. All right, the thumb drive is in. Uh, first thing we need to do, we'll format it because we're in Linux. Uh, Windows should auto format it, but if not, you can easily just wipe it out. So we'll find our thumb drive down here at the end, SDF. Uh, I think I had recal box. So we're just gonna wipe all these out and we're just gonna create a new primary partition. That's gonna be FAT32 and that's gonna be it. And we're just gonna call this yummy. Add and we're just go make that and apply it. Let it refresh. If we go view device information, one thing to note, just to make sure that this doesn't mess up, a partition table needs to be MS-DOS. It cannot be GPT as you'll run into problems. Just a side note, if you do run into problems with that, you can easily change the partition tables by going create partition table and then say MS-DOS. Uh, if it is under GPT, just change it to MS-DOS, hit apply. It will wipe out everything on the device. So uh, use this with caution, but I at least wanted to say, you know, if you go into device, uh, you can create a new partition table before formatting to FAT32 and you'll be just fine. Let's run Yummy the Executable and see what we get. I'm gonna go ahead and just manually do this and see what we do. Now I'm doing the UEFI version, so we're just gonna go Wine, Yummy, EFI, launch into this, see what we get. We'll go ahead and hit Agree, Show All Drives, and that 117 looks to be it. Uh, so let's pick out what we wanna put on here. I think we'll throw a, a Ubuntu on here, and for this, uh, I might just actually go into my home directory and see what we have. I think I have one in, yeah, in my images. Let's see if we can go all the way into my network images here. Uh, let's grab Ubuntu. Oh, let's throw 1904 desktop on here. Go ahead and hit next. And that should be enough. Let's create it, see what we get says, hey, it's gonna do this, it's gonna create an MBR, it's gonna create the label on E, and it's gonna install Ubuntu. So if you absolutely positive drive E as your USB device, definitely double check this as I already did. Now I did see a little bit of an error there just to see if it did have a Linux. I think it gave me a Linux error. So let's go ahead and do a couple of drives on this just to see what happens. All right, it looks like it's added Ubuntu. We'll go ahead and say yes, we'll add more. Before we go too crazy here though, I'm gonna actually just pull up my file browser as I wanna see this, this actual yummy drive and kind of show you how it does things. It adds this EFI folder because it can do UEFI boot and then it actually has regular boot as well. So if we go into each one of these, this is actually the grub boot, which is interesting. And then EFI. And then the cool thing is, I think it puts the ISO in actually multi-boot here. So this is kind of like how it actually puts everything on there. Let's go back in and select another distro and throw it on here. Uh, let's pick a utility this time. I think I have some parted magic we could toss on here. Under system tools, parted magic, let's browse 
and grab P Magic and see how that does. All right, process is complete. We're not going to add more distros and just say thank you, Yummy, for creating the drive. Let's uh, take a look at our files just to see what else is on here. We'll go ahead, refresh this. Uh, you'll see P Magic is on here now and Ubuntu. So we should have two things to choose from. Let's go ahead, reboot. Now, UEFI Yummy is still kind of in the test stage. It's not at a 1.0 release yet, so this may not work. I really hope it does, but if not, we can do it a different method as well. Okay, so we have our disk here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and boot UEFI as I'm interested to see if we can get that to work. So we'll click that, select our UEFI partition right here, and we this would be doing legacy boot, this is UEFI boot, so let's see what we get. Hey, look at that, even though we got the sys, sys errors, it seems to still be working. So we have Linux distributions, which is Ubuntu, and system tools, which is PMagic, so um, kind of cool. So let's, uh, let's try and boot into Ubuntu and see if we maybe we can do a live boot from here. This would be kind of cool, and then we can just keep adding uh, distributions on this. All right, it did work. Uh, I actually have two two screens, one into my capture card, one right here. Usually it's mirrored, but in this instance, it just decided not to mirror it. Uh, that's really neat. Let me see if I can't change my screen settings so you can kind of see what I see. Ah, there we go, <laughs> perfect. So now we have a mirrored displays. I'm in a live environment, obviously haven't installed Ubuntu. We're good, let's reboot again and uh, Let's take another roll at uh, Parted Magic and see if we can't use this multi-boot. And we're back. All right. So back in here, we'll go back into our boot menu and go down into UEFI again. And this time, we're going to try and boot Parted Magic from our UEFI. So we'll go System Tools, P Magic, and let's try and run this one 64-bit from RAM. All right, and Part of Magic came right up as well. So really awesome. I'm glad when a plan comes together and just works out. Uh, one more thing to test is basic legacy boot, as that's one thing I wanted to test because technically, if it's booted into UEFI, uh, a lot of UEFI installation media can do both legacy and UEFI. So this would be like the ultimate USB disk. So I want to make sure that the legacy portion of this is also working. And this time, we're going to just choose SanDisk, not UEFI version. And there we go. We got it again. So perfect. So now this would be emulating a legacy boot. Uh, obviously, the resolution should be pretty much downsized, so you don't have a high resolution on legacy boot as it's actually emulated right here. And right into the installer we go. Wow. Uh, pretty amazing. Uh, I, I can't believe this actually worked in Linux using just a Windows utility like Yummy. So there we go. We have the ultimate USB drive created. I'm going to keep adding and adding stuff to it. The whole purpose of me doing this is on live streams, I'm constantly wiping out like my studio PC or another PC here in the, here in the studio, and I always need to create a USB drive. And I'm like, man... It'd be so much easier if I just had like 20 distros and 20 different operating systems all just loaded on my thumb drive. So that's what I did. I created this and I was like, oh, you know what? This would be a great video. I'm sure you would like it. So with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.